Here we're being asked about the convergence of an infinite series. The series is the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 2n minus 5 divided by 3n plus 1. So um, as we add up infinitely many terms from 0 to infinity, do these terms add up to a finite amount, which means converge, or does it not add up to a finite amount, meaning the series would diverge? So to answer this question, uh, we really need to be familiar with most of our tests. So let's, let's look at our different tests and let's start um, using some of these to, um, to exclude what we might use for this problem. So uh, for instance, I, I see right off the bat, there's no way this guy's a P-series. It, it looks nothing like a P-series. So we're not going to use the P-series test. Uh, I also see there's no terms here that alternate plus, minus, plus, minus. You don't have any of those minus one to the end type terms that flip-flop the series back and forth. So I think it's pretty clear. It's not going to be alternating. Um, there's no powers of n. Like, you know, it's not like this to the nth power. That's typically what we expect to see with a, a root test. So I don't think it's the root test either. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of who you could compare this guy to. I don't really see any equivalent or, or similar P-series or geometric series or, or too much of anything like that for the most part. Um, th that uh, would be helpful to compare this guy to. So I don't really think it's direct comparison or limit comparison test. Um, the last three, you know, they're, they're all three possibilities. I mean, maybe we should examine these three a little bit closer. Uh, but once we get close to the finish line, once you've got it whittled down to a few, then you can just start thinking about each of these. And for this guy, I, I think especially in this restricted number of tests that it could be for me I think it's pretty clear we're gonna use the nth term test right now I'll show you why uh, because if you consider this guy here to be your a sub n then let's take the limit as n goes to infinity of 2n minus 5 divided by 3n plus 1 alright this limit would go to infinity over infinity and so uh, one thing that we've studied lately recently in our course is L'Hopital's rule right because if you get an indeterminate form if you get infinity over infinity you can differentiate the numerator and denominator and then retake the limit so let, let's do that so we have the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 over 3 which will be 2 thirds okay now, what, what does this answer mean, two-thirds? Does, does that mean that our series converged because it gave us two-thirds? Not at all. No, let's be careful with, with what this is saying. This isn't saying that the sum of the terms goes to two-thirds. This is the limit of the terms that you're adding up converges to two-thirds, which basically means, you know, a thousand terms or a million terms down the line, you're roughly going to have two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds. In other words, the limit of the terms, they don't go to zero. And so how can a series have a prayer of converging if the terms don't even get smaller? And so it's pretty clear, very clear, in fact, that this series is going to diverge. And you have to say what test you used. It diverges by the nth term test okay so that that's really the idea that what we've done here is how you should approach every problem in your mind you should think of all the tests and then just start excluding some to get a, a smaller number of tests to consider and then you know from there once you've whittled it down then just use your logic and your common sense and uh, and that should help you get over the hump to deciding what what the right test is to convert uh, determine the convergence of a particular series